Hey guys, we're back and we're going to be solving equations with variables on both sides. Now the equation that we have in front of us is negative 4y minus 3 equals 5 minus 3y plus 6 minus 19. So we're noticing that on this right hand side, we have a lot of numbers or constants that we can combine together. And so we're going to combine like terms. And so we have a negative 19, a positive 6, and a positive 5. Now, this positive 6 and positive 5 equals a positive 11. So we have negative 19 and a positive 11 gives us a negative 8. So when we combine like terms, we are going to have negative 3y minus 8. And let's go ahead and bring the left side down as well, the negative 4y minus 3. So I need to get my letters on the left, my numbers on the right. So I'm going to use the inverse and add 3y to both sides. Now with this 3y to both sides, I have a negative y minus 3 equals, this gives me negative 3y and a positive 3y gives me 0, and then I'm going to bring down the negative 8. Next, I'm going to take the negative 3 or get its inverse and add 3 to both sides. Therefore, I will have a negative y equal to a negative 5. Now, this negative y is not necessarily fully isolated. We have a negative one, or I use, I call in the imaginary one. So we have a negative one. So we're going to divide by a negative one on both sides. So when I divide by a negative one from both sides, I have y equals a negative and a negative is a positive. So y equals a negative five. Let's go ahead and try another problem. In this problem, we have a negative two y times 7, so we see a parenthesis, so we know that we are going to be multiplying those two terms together. So negative 2y times 7 equals 4y times the quantity of 5 times 5 minus 798. So we're going to look at the left side first in a negative 2y times 7. Negative 2 times 7 is a negative 14, so negative 14y. Then we have 4y times 25, because 5 times 5 is 25, minus 798. So we're going to look at still getting rid of the parentheses on the right side. So when I got the, rid of the parentheses on the left side, I could have done this all in the exact same step. So here we go. Negative 14y equals 4 times 25 is 100y minus 798. Nice. So let's go ahead and bring the 100y to the left-hand side. And so I'm going to add a negative 100y to both sides. That will give me a negative 114y equals a negative 798. This becomes zero. We're going to divide by our coefficient of a negative 114. We might not know exactly what this answer is, but we know that y is going to be by itself because these two become one. And then a negative 798 divided by a negative 114. You could do it on the calculator ahead of time, or you could do a long division, but the answer is seven. But we do know if it's a multiple choice on an assessment, we know that these two are gonna become, these two negatives are gonna become positive. So my solution is going to be positive. All right, great job. And so remember when we're solving equations with variables on both sides, we wanna get rid of our parentheses. We want to isolate our variable, and if we need to combine like terms, we need to do so. Um, also, we will what we do on one side, we do on the other side. All right, check out more videos on Math is Simple um, YouTube channel, and good luck.
Thank you.